Welcome to the Daddy and McGizzy Show. Today's show is about fossils and some other old things, which is why I'm your host today. Let me introduce you to our sponsor of today's uh, podcast. Today's sponsor is Gatorade. So, hey, Mr. Gator, can you give me some aid? In helping with this video? He's not saying anything. I need an aide who can talk. Who could who could give me some aid and loves to talk? I know. McGizzy, come on over here. Later, alligator. This is my host, co-host, Mr. McGizzy. And we've got a good show for you because we've given you some hints in our last video about something special we have to show you that has something to do with the solar system All and planets and sliced rocks. And speaking of sliced rocks, sometimes when you slice rocks, you get radioactivity. So Daddy's been doing some special uh, treatment. Like to show it all. Bye, please. Come to the theater just to see it. Then both we're not seeing that. We're seeing... What's happening? Yarnables. Yarnables? Dad, do you have anything to say? I... Wait a minute. That's me. But I'm over here. Yeah, the movie's over. What's going on? That's crazy. It's my magic button. I can speak into it. Oh, okay. man. <laughs> Get this show started. Let's started. get this show on the road. Because like I was saying, sometimes some older rocks, you cut them and they're radioactive. And so Daddy was working with some radioactive rocks the other day. And look at what happened. See, right from me, it shining. I'm shining all the way out and lighting up the outside with my brightness. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit. Makes me feel a little bit younger. Okay. Uh, well, we can... We can show it. They can see it from right in the back. Okay. So, you just get it. Mr. Begizzy, what do you want to start off this show about fossils and some other old things with? Oh, well, you want to start out with that? Yeah. Okay, this is one of those other old things. And what is this? Tell our audience what this is. A euphrolite, except... Um, oh, it's going to be a different color, so... Oh, the camera. Oh. Okay. You want me to adjust it? Yes. That. Okay. Hold it up. So it's on the screen. Um, I'm looking. Yeah, let me try it this way. Yeah, try that way. Um, I kind of can see it. Yeah, it's hard to see on the screen without it red. being dark out, but it glows really cool red. Which is different from the orange flame look of the of the Uperlite rocks. So we really like that one. So starting out with that, what else do we have to show the folks in our viewing land? What is this? Oh man, yeah, these come in some pretty tight boxes because and so I'm pretty sure they're fragile. this yep they are kind of fragile and this is going to be dad there might be a pin in there a fossil okay there is oh. it okay. yep here we go we got it okay, yeah, okay, okay that's okay. very good all right so i put it right up to the screen okay, and then okay, tell everybody okay. what it is okay. we're having some technical difficulties this is pretty complicated stuff it is a. This is your yeah your ink. Wait, what's going on? No, this one is oh, from know. the skull store. Oh. No, from Wyoming. Wyoming. Yeah. This is an Ankylosaurus piece from yeah. its shell. From its armor, yeah. And it's from the very last stay in the state log of Miami. Wyoming? Wyoming. Wyoming. Why? What do you mean? Wyoming. What do 
What? Where? Who, when? Why? Well, you said why. No, I said why. I said Wyoming. Oh, Wyoming. That's why. Yeah. Yep, so that's an Ankylosaurus armor plate bone. It kind of looks Because that was like part a... of his, that was part of what protected him. See that armor plate up on the top on and his back. And Ankylosaurus is my favorite dinosaur. I got this for Christmas. Yes, it is. He likes it more than a T-Rex or a raptor or Brachiosaurus. T-Rexes are my least favorite Yeah, or anything dinosaurs. like that. So. Speaking of T-Rex bones, we have one here. Oh, yes, we do. And this yep. is authentic. That means it's real. Yes, that is a T-Rex fossil bone. Yep. Did, did, did. And that one, I think, came from South Dakota. So, oh, yeah, this is like almost all of my, my dinosaur bones, except that one, come from South Dakota. Yeah, there is a very famous dig site in it's South Dakota. Authentic where, bone chart, Hell Creek. Yeah. South Dakota. Yeah, where lots and lots of dinosaurs were fossilized it says all together. It says age so, 66 million years ago, but that's a lot. Yeah, we know that that's not true. It's like maybe like 3,000 years ago. Yeah, maybe even maybe just a little bit older than that too, but you're right, it's thousands of years. Not But speaking of old, yeah, I remember, I remember back then. <laughs> no, I'm just you're, kidding. Your Some people is, might believe that, but... Your no. birthday is tomorrow. That's right. I'm going to be 11 No, you're going to be 61. Oh, man. Wow. You know, there's there's two signs of people getting old. What? One is that they, 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 they lose their memory. <laughs> and the second thing is... Um, uh, the second thing is... Um, I, I can't remember the second thing. Wait. But maybe later. Okay, so let's move on with the show, I mister. No okay, what are we going to show the folks at home next? <gasps> are you ready for that one already? Yes. Okay, this is the one we gave you all the hints about in the last video. No, 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 no. <laughs> we have. Okay, we got to handle this one with very gently and with lots of care. <laughs> Because it is a little fragile, because it is a slice, but it's a slice of something very special. It traveled a long way to come to be on our show. Okay, and what is that, mister? You do. This is a lunar meteorite. Called from the lunar meteorite Gadamus 3. And this, there is um, two pieces. Yes, there are two pieces. And a lunar meteorite is when uh, an asteroid hits the moon and it blows up chunks of the moon rock into the out of the atmosphere of the moon. And if they're big enough and they fly in the right direction toward the Earth, uh, then they come to the Earth as lunar meteorites and and hit the ground, and the rock that remains comes. This is from actually from the moon, and in fact, it's even from a similar area to where Apollo 16 landed and took other moon rock samples. So, this is our longest traveling guest on the show, all the way from the moon. So, that is super cool. So, that was our special surprise. What are we showing them now? Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, Rain man. Horn? Is it like a buffalo no, horn? No, this is a buffalo horn. Oh, a B-dubs horn. A B-dubs horn. A B-dubs horn. Yeah, it, was, it, went on their, it went on their heads just like just like that. No. No? No, it went oh, on their man. heads like this. Oh, on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like this one. They can... Boom, that makes more sense. And they had two of them. So and they like, had two of them, yeah. Like, so. I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, we only have one, so uh, he has a little bit of a hearing but problem. But didn't have Dad have like a? Didn't you have like another horn that like a priest would blow? Oh yeah, that's a shofar. So because he, how's the show going, shofar? I thought he was. Oh man, this fossil's got a lot of jokes from all his years. Okay, Mister, what one are we gonna show next? Oh. 
the deal. The one that we got a really, 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 really oh, super good deal. Yeah. On. There's actually a couple. Of yeah, this one I think we can probably get out of the box. Yeah, we can easily do this. These boxes are very tight because they're packed really well. Yeah, and they have pins in them. This is a Megalodon. Okay, hold it up so that everybody can see and turn it the, turn it the other way. There we go. Man, that's a Megalodon tooth, the biggest shark that ever swam in the waters of the earth. This is my tooth. This yeah. Is actually, I think this is like my grown up tooth. Oh, man. And this is a Megalodon. Wow, man and that's me, just one of them. A man be having like. It's the big as your whole mouth. 400 of these things. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Megalodon <laughs> had more teeth. Than even Mr. Gator. Yeah, Mr. Either. Gator has like 87 teeth. Yeah, we, we counted them. Yeah. We did. Lots of I times. Did. Yeah. Two times, I did. Yeah. So, that Megalon Wait, tooth Dad. is a... Do the da 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 Okay. Wow. Yes. A lot bigger than the shark from the movie Jaws, that's for sure. They call that a great white. Oh, the Megalodon was way bigger than the great white sharks of today. So what do we have next, mister? Oh, this is something a little bit different. It's not a fossil. It's not a rock. And it's really not that old either. And it's a badge. It is a badge. Hold it up so that the folks out there can see. It is a real police badge. It is a real police badge from where? Little Traverse Bay Vans of Odawa Indians. My yeah. dad is an Indian. Yeah, that's from our tribal police. And the police officer saw McGizzy and came over and introduced himself and showed him all of his equipment. He was Oh, he had so many weapons. Yes, a taser, he did. a gun. He had like walkie-talkie. And it was like I think it was like summer, and he had like and a nightstick <laughs> and a and a bulletproof vest. Yeah, and that was cool. He was just he just had so much fun talking with McGizzy that he said, "Wait a minute, I'll be right back." And he left us the room for a minute, and he came back, and he brought this patch. This was his patch. And he got a new one for the tactical outfit that he was showing us. And so I got he gave us this one. So this was actually worn by a police officer. I from, got one when I was a baby. From my tribe. And it was just a sticker. Yeah, it was a sticker. So the police the police know who he is. Yeah. But, but, but in a good way, he's not in any kind of trouble. No. Okay. Wait a minute, Dad. Yeah. Maybe if I showed people my badge, maybe I could get into, like, anything. Oh, I yeah. can get to Disneyland for free? Oh, wow. That would be amazing. Uh, Disneyland and, and the words Disneyland and free don't go together at all. D-I-S-N-E-Y. No, nope, not at all. L-A-N-D. Okay, so you want to show this one next? Yeah. So this I'm, is called Fulgurite. And I'm not going to pull that thing. Is it, it was found. No, we're going to leave this one because it's yeah. very fragile. It was found in the Sahara it Desert. Sand, basically. In Egypt. And it, Fun fact, it because I'm so old, I used to be the chief forest ranger at the Sahara Forest. You did? Yeah. Well, it got struck. Don't this. don't don't I mean the Sahara Desert? Yeah. Well, yeah. Now it's the desert. But what? anyway, that I don't want to talk about that too much. It was kind of oh man, kind of messy. Okay, this is called fulgurite, but it came from the Sahara Desert. And, and? McGizzy, tell the folks. How this rock was formed. Sand, um, lightning struck sand to make it look. Oh, lightning got. Sand got struck by lightning. Oh, good. And made it into a rock. Yes, sand got struck by the lightning and it formed a rock right in the desert. So that is a really special part of our collection. And then what do you want to show next? Oh, man, we'll show the both of these then. Okay, we've got, now it's a fossil of something very old. Uh, yeah, we'll show you two things. 
a really good deal one or a really bad deal one. Okay, so McGizzy, get up, come on the screen so we can see you. Okay. Yeah, because you're a lot prettier than this old guy. <laughs> They'd rather look at you. Yeah, see, maybe it's better if I just do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what are these? They look like trees. This is a woolly mammoth tusk, and this is a woolly mammoth part of a tusk. Yeah, and you can see how the, there's the curved part. And so we're going to tell you the deal. Big tusk. This one. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Was $150. Yeah. And this one was 80 bucks. It's way wider, way bigger. Yeah, it came from a museum in Alaska that was closing yeah. down. So, so we got a, a really good deal on it. Yep. Holy so, woolly mammoths come from Alaska and <laughs> Siberia. So we have two different tusk parts. So that's pretty good. There is a recent founding of a woolly mammoth, like leg bones, thousands of things, like. Uh-huh. They just like found one recently in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, can you believe it? Even in Michigan, there used to be woolly mammoths. So let's show them some more. It's so cold. Let's show them some more woolly mammoth parts. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> woolly mammoth parts. We want to finish oh, with the woolly, woolly mammoth. mammoth. Yeah, because otherwise okay, he's, okay. he's uh, kind of feeling a little bit broken up right now. Okay, so that's our next one. Come on over and show the folks what you got here. I'll hold it up and you come on the screen and tell them what is this? It is a woolly mammoth piece of its hair. Oh, it is. Oh, I thought it came from right here. I, I thought it came from me. Oh man, I have so much hair. Yeah, it I looks, it looks like it could woolly. be more from your hair than mine, but but yeah, this is woolly mammoth hair. So you've seen tusks from the woolly mammoth and hair from the woolly mammoth. What else do we have from the woolly mammoth? Uh, should I show both of them? Uh, you can bring them both over. We can do them one at a time because they're pretty big. Yeah, they are. And they're from different parts of the woolly mammoth's body. So this, this is part of a woolly mammoth rib. So it would be on his body like that for part of his yeah. rib cage to protect his stomach and all that kind of stuff, the rest of his body. This is part of his leg. Would these things like connect? Yes, this is part of his leg, so, so you can like, see here. Connect, like, where? This like that? is, uh, nope, the ribs aren't going to connect to the leg bone. Aww. But it would be cool if it could, because then he would be really, uh, really structured. But see this little, this little kind of knob? Mm-hmm. Another knob from another part of his leg bone would fit right there to help him be able to move and bend his leg. Cool. So, yeah, so this is a really cool piece. Um, to show part of his leg. And then what else do we have to show people? Oh, and on our, we'll have to show you maybe in a spring show. The next thing we're looking for to kind of complete our woolly mammoth collection is we want to find a woolly mammoth tooth, a, a molar, and uh, and get that. But speaking of teeth, oh, that doesn't have anything to do with teeth except it starts with the letter T. ta That is a turtle shell. We got that from... The Little uh, Traverse Bay yep, Bands of from, Dow Indians. From the tribal powwow. Powwow. Yep, and so that's really cool. And speaking of the powwow, we got something else from the powwow, too. Okay, Dad, get it off of the show. No, we'll just let him see it. No, we'll just let him see it, because he's happy up there. He looks over us all the time. What is that up there? A fox fur. It is a fox fur, and we got that at a powwow, mm-hmm. and as soon as we bought him and we left and we started driving away from the powwow, what did we see? A fox. A fox ran right across the road in front of us to the other side. We thought, wow, that is really cool. So we, we got the fox fur, and then we saw a real fox. Yeah. Yep. And that, and my dad's name, Indian name, was Foxtail. So that was a very special moment because um, as tribal citizens, we believe that, that God, the creator, can show us some different signs and things by, uh, by showing us stuff. And we kind of figured that was the way of, of God saying, yep, uh, my, my daddy's very special and my son is very special and we're sharing the same heritage. So let's move on. We got a few more things to go. Uh, okay, we're going to do, oh, here's another guest. This guest may have come even farther than the lunar meteorite because it probably came from an asteroid belt around Jupiter or Saturn. And so this is, what is this, McGizzy? A meteorite. It is a meteorite. Um, 
It was found in, uh, I think it was so uh, South America. And we're going to do the test. I will, at least I will. Oh, yeah, there is a test. It's heavier than a normal rock. It is heavier than a normal rock. That I can verify for that. It's You, you put it in your hand, and it's a lot heavier than you think it's going to be. And then there's one other test that McGizzy's going to demonstrate to show you about the properties of a, of a meteorite. And that is this. What is What property are you demonstrating? Magnetic. Yeah, the meteorite is magnetic because it has lots of iron in it. And that's part of what makes it more dense and heavier, too. So this is a piece of a real meteor that came from outer space far, far away in another galaxy, far, far away. I think I ought to trademark that expression. That's kind of cool sounding. All right. Well, anyway, let's move on. We got just a few more things. What else you got for me as we wrap up the show for tonight? Yeah, Dad. Oh, I yeah. Have a question. Yes. Can we make it exact as minutes as the last show? It we'll try. It's going to be hard. Okay. Okay. So what this is this? This is a triceratops, but it's part of its horn. Yeah, part of it's part of it triceratops. Yeah. So that is really, really cool. Okay. Yep. Kind of hard headed, like yep. somebody else I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, what is this? This is pretty big. This is a really good deal he got it for. It is a ammonite. It is an ammonite from the sea. Yep. Yep, got quickly buried and fossilized, and you can see the different patterns on it. That's very cool. So this is unpolished, just like it, you know, that fossilized into the rock. And it's a really good specimen. Quickly, Dad. So, all right, we're in the rush to get it. Our last one. Oh, this one's really cool, too. It's pretty old. This it one is, is petrified wood. Petrified wood. That's a big piece of petrified wood. Yep, okay, quickly. Oh, man. We need to stop it, and what? I'll tell you when to. Okay, we're going to stop and say bye in just a second. Hurry up. Bye.